I knew I had it. Let me just mark it so that we can. Make a bend in there at one foot. Make a 90 degree, 90 degree. This is, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but uh, I just want a 90 degree bend here. Um, so if I mark it, if I mark it square, Got a T square, so make a straight. Once I roll up, and I want to roll it the other way, so that says it's square. I don't think it is. It says it's square, but it doesn't really look square to me. There we go. We're going to measure eight feet and we'll make another mark. This is a little sharp to work with. And we only have one hand to work with, but I'm going to just kind of bend it backwards. So it's hard to work with gloves on, so you just have to be really careful. Let's see if I can get a little kink in there. I do, I'll be able to, to fold it right on the mark. Oh, yeah, the board, I'll put it on and go get her. Just go get the other end marked and see if I have eight feet. Then I need to make a bend going the other way. So it'll bend up that way. You'll see what. Let's get it marked here. This side I'm going to bend this way on the line, make a 90 degree, and the other end I'm going to bend the other way. I'm going to fit on that corner over there. I'll show you. It will work. projects you're never out of something to do at the homestead always got plans and if you can't do one thing then maybe you can do something else so we get done what we can but we had a yeah, those of you that followed me for a while know there's something that was in here before and I'm gonna go back in but we just have to do some uh, stuff here to fix it up. Now we're just gonna cut this down, level it out a little bit. I'm going to cut this down. Kind of cut that like that. I don't know. Let's see. I was marking on the other side, so I kind of drew a line down, 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 like steps. So this will all be closed right in. So we're going to just go get it 
some scissors and do some cutting. My half caps are ripening, so I got a I got one hand, so I'm gonna have to get out here and do some picking. There's some that are ready and some that are not quite ready, but boy, they're sure nice in the pancakes. Tomatoes looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Need some water out here. Apple tree is looking pretty good. Slowly coming back, not sure what it's gonna do. And here we have really nice little bit of potatoes. Lots of really nice onions. And these onions are they're getting big already. They're looking good. I have not watered these this year at all, even though we've had some pretty hot weather. And the potatoes, they are looking awesome. I was going to hill them up a little bit more, but I didn't get time, and I can't do it right now, so... One down, two to go. We get, get eight, eight feet. If I can keep it square, I'm good. Two down, one more to go. half lap here I've marked this down so I'm gonna cut halfway through um, and then on the long ones I've cut down halfway through so those will be tying the corners together so just so you know I got a little more uh, kind of fine tuning to do
screws in there. See how level we are. Just for flowers, so I don't think they care. Well, that is just about as close as you can get. Yeah. Yes, I'm not gonna change it. That is good. Very, very close. Pretty good. Oh, fit perfect. So this is what you call a half lap. You seem to cut them. Just getting as close to half as you can, so. You know, we're off a little bit. Not too much, but that's okay. We'll screw it together. Oh, turned out pretty straight. One was crooked, they're all crooked. Fits good. more screws and so we'll fill it up with dirt that'll make make lots of room for you know 18 inches high so that'll make a little nicer my my lilies I have probably bring them and put them back in here and see if they survive but they were looking good but pansies didn't make it so yeah see maybe some will come back next year Well, what do you think, guys? Looks pretty good. I think the flowers will be happy. Yes, we'll get this all filled up. You know, I got a couple of roots in here. Try and keep nice clean dirt in there. So. What do you think of it, huh? Yeah, probably grow potatoes in there, but yeah, it just wasn't enough. I had a few rocks there, had my flowers, and they weren't doing very well, so. Be able to put about 
16 inches of dirt in there and and then we'll fix it up with some rocks and make it look nice yeah i think it'll work pretty good some nice milled timbers so got a couple of spruce bottom one's actually tamarack so but yeah they're gonna hold together nice and screwed the corners together you've seen how i was doing it so i got a little dirt to haul a few wheelbarrow loads and no big rush just work on it a little bit and give the hand a break so try not to use my fingers if i can help it but it kind of happens we'll see how she goes we'll get her done slowly there's nobody here so I can put my tin in there. A little cooler this evening, but not that much get up and go, so. Yeah, she's pretty late. Even the farmers coming to haul hay. When it's cooler outside. Yeah, yeah, he tries to idle up through the field there quietly, so he don't make too much noise, but yeah, it's getting on 11 o'clock, so. Yeah, actually, still looks fairly bright. She's clear sky, other than a little smoke in the air. But, dig that out a little bit. I'm gonna make it like I did the other one. Just uh, better redesign it a little bit, a little bit smaller. Just got doghouse in the corner here that's all insulated underneath the deck there. That's all doghouse, uh, a nice good size. So, could have a bigger dog than Ginger. And, you know, two, two of her could fit in there. But, so I keep a nice little door on there for her and keeps the wind out in winter. But she loves it. She goes in there in the shade even. It's cooler in there in the summertime. So, but, but we'll get back at it a bit later, maybe tomorrow.